Yeah, good afternoon again, everybody. This is Hurricane Specialist Robbie Berg. Uh, we're back with our next stop on NHC's uh, virtual tour. Uh, up next, we have uh, a member of the NOAA Corps. So the National Hurricane Center is actually part of the National Weather Service, uh, which is only one of the components of NOAA. There's also the National Ocean Service, the fisheries, uh, satellite services, uh, and NOAA Corps is also one of those components of NOAA. So uh, here at the Hurricane Center, we're fortunate that we have a billet, or we have somebody here from the NOAA Corps who rotates in every three years. And right now, we're honored to have Lieutenant Junior Grade Phil Venugian. Uh, he's going to talk to us about the NOAA Corps, uh, what he's doing here at the Hurricane Center, and about uh, the different ships and airplanes that the NOAA Corps has and uh, what they do uh, in weather, both hurricanes and otherwise. So, Phil, take it away. Let us know what you do in NOAA Corps. Excellent. Hello, everybody. Uh, Lieutenant JG Phil Venugian. Uh, so, I'm part of the NOAA Corps, as uniform should show. And uh, the NOAA Corps is one of seven uniformed services in the United States. Uh, the five military branches plus the United States Public Health Service and the NOAA Corps. Uh, there are 321 commissioned officers in the NOAA Corps. Um, and our primary role in NOAA is to be sort of the operational and managerial wing. So we operate uh, vessels and aircraft. And when we do come to a land assignment like this, uh, we help with sort of behind the scenes budgeting, oversight, and uh, some operational items as well. Uh, for example, we have uh, one of our, op our jobs is uh, flying uh, hurricane hunters and other NOAA aircraft. Um, some of the duties include um, investigating hurricanes, conducting research in them, both uh, through the center of the hurricane, in it, and above it in the Gulf Stream 4. And we also have Twin Otter aircraft, which do uh, LIDAR surveys and visual mammal surveys, uh, and a Beechcraft, which does LIDAR surveys as well, and post-storm uh, um, emergency uh, photography. Um, along with our aircraft, we have quite a few vessels. We have 16 NOAA ships in the fleet. This one is the NOAA ship Bell M. Shimada, the vessel that I served on. Um, and our primary roles with, with these ships are oceanography research, um, fisheries research. Uh, we also have uh, ships that chart the seafloor, um, sort of like the Thomas Jefferson. And, and these, these vessels help make NOAA charts, which are used by mariners all over the country. Um, so, along with our operational jobs on ships and aircraft, uh, we also have land jobs, which is what I'm in. And so my job here at the National Hurricane Center is uh, with the Storm Surge Unit. And the Storm Surge Unit, in a previous video today, um, uh, helps forecast and warn for storm surge threats in a hurricane, which is the main hazard uh, that kills most people historically in hurricanes. Um, and so here at the Hurricane Center, as no core officer, I'm able to participate in that unit, make sure that we're well staffed and well funded, um, but then also lend my services during a, a landfalling event. And so I'll also help out with the tropical analysis and forecast branch um, and assisting the hurricane specialists as well. So as NOAA Corps officers, uh, we serve throughout NOAA, not just in the Office of Marine and Aviation Operations, which is what we're under, but we lend our services to every other line office as well. Hey, so great. Bill. So you know, once your stint here at the Hurricane Center is done, then what's next? I mean, after you've done a land-based uh, assignment, what happens after that? That's a great question. Uh, for those of us that are assigned to vessels, we will return to the vessel for two years. We do two, typically two years at sea and three years at land. Uh, for those that are assigned to an aircraft or shift into aviation, uh, typically it's five years assigned to an aircraft. And so when you were last on the ship, where did the ship sail? What did you do on that ship? Uh, great question. So my ship, the Shimada, was based out of the Pacific Northwest in Newport, Oregon, where we have our Pacific Marine Operations Center. Uh, we also have a Marine Operations Center in Norfolk, Virginia. Um, my vessel was primarily uh, fisheries research, as you can see by some of the items in the back of the ship there. Um, we also did quite a lot of oceanography, for those that are acquainted with the sciences, CTDs and um, sampling the water column throughout the Pacific Northwest. And these vessels are everywhere from Alaskan waters to all of the, uh, the West Coast, including the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic Coast, and we do have an international vessel, the Ronald H. Brown, which is uh, currently circumnavigating the globe. Yeah, and so you, as you mentioned, some of these ships are located in the Atlantic and the tropical Pacific, so obviously they might be in the path of a potential hurricane or other tropical storms. So I'm assuming one of your jobs here is to, to kind of keep watch of these situations and alert those ships if they might be in harm's way. That's right. Since most of us in the NOAA Corps have specialties, uh, my specialty being um, aviation and marine and meteorology, uh, I help 
uh, alert sh uh, NOAA ships that are currently in sort of a potential danger zone in the tropics as to upcoming weather threats. So I'm sort of their liaison with the National Weather Service and getting up-to-date information. Great. So thanks, Phil. I mean, that's uh, really important work that you got, your guys are doing in general and then what you do here at the Hurricane Center. I think it's great that we have this uh, cooperation with the NOAA Corps because uh, not only does it help us to get our information out and do what we need to do, but I think it also gives us another perspective on what the other parts of NOAA do. So Absolutely. Uh, that's, that's all for now. We've got one or two more videos left to do uh, today uh, to wrap up the first day of hurricane season. Uh, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again in another half an hour or so.